We just pulled out of Ian's parents' driveway. We're officially on the road and it's a really weird feeling. The difference is when you're going to backpack, you have a flight and a date that you have to leave. But when you're doing a road trip, you kind of can leave whenever you want. And it was getting to the point where we're like, well, are we ever gonna leave? Cause we were waiting for stuff to come in. So it's a super weird feeling that we actually left and I'm getting very excited right now. I don't know how excited I am. This is on the bucket list of every American, let alone people from all around the world. And I'm gonna give a huge what what to the start of our road trip. We're already starting up the woot woot. Another thing we should talk about real quick is COVID-19. I know that is a very serious topic. It's very sad and we're gonna take it extremely seriously. However, we have to travel to make money. So this is kind of our life right now. But if you think about it, we'll be outside a lot and we're always gonna wear our masks if we ever do go inside. The best part about it is that we have a bed in the back. So we'll never have to sleep at an Airbnb a hotel where a lot of germs are and people. We're really gonna be in this car most of our travels. We wanna give a huge shout out to the Philippines because Palawan was voted the number one island in the world recently. Congratulations. We love you and we owe a lot of our like drive for traveling and making videos to you. And all of a Southeast lot of Asia. Southeast Asian countries. We are going to miss you guys commenting on our videos being in the same spots that you are, but hopefully you're still watching out there. We spent the night in Chicago and we are officially starting our road trip today, which is crazy. We spent the two nights in Chicago hanging out with friends and Anna's brother we stayed with. You watch this video right here. Earlier this morning, you met my brother, Alex. I don't know if you've ever met Alex. I don't think he's in a video, are you? Well, this is Alex. He lives in Chicago. He's Anna's older brother. And he's letting us sleep at his place. Anytime we come through Chicago, which the past two times we've been to Asia, we did, we always stay at Alex's. So it was only right for our road trip to come here first. And then this morning I met up with my best friend uh, Becca and we forgot to film it So I really just want to make sure you guys meet her too. This is Becca. Becca, we love you We She's didn't forget like about you. She's my best friend from college and it's super nice being able to see friends because it got kind of lonely in Asia And now we have tons of friends in America. <laughs> Much more important Anna's older brother Alex is getting us some Mexican food to try and what are you getting us to try Alex? We're gonna do a little uh, beef tongue. Beef tongue. I've never had it before so today is a big start to our our road trip. Not only are the adventures about to begin, but on a road trip you try so much different kinds of food. Today I'm trying a beef tongue taco. I feel like I'm on the partial you go, sports show. You go, you're going uh, one bite. First. Love it. <laughs> I'm scared. Mmm. Cow tongue? Very tender. I give it a nine. Really? Yeah, it's, Anna, you can try. No. It just looks weird. I know, but just. So what's your score? I mean, it just freaks me out. Right now, we are stopping at Aldi where we're gonna shop for groceries finally. We're gonna be heading oh, wait, to South Dakota. You're like not telling them the truth. Ian's so hungover, he blacked out. I didn't black out. I am so tired though and hungover. Making this ride is super <laughs> interesting because he keeps like being like, what? Where do I go? What do I do? Yeah, I'm getting a little confused, but I'm okay. We're gonna get some groceries. Let's head into Aldi. As we keep shopping here at Aldi, I want to tell you guys that we're used to paying Southeast Asian prices. If you don't know us and you're new to this channel and these videos, we're Ian and Anna and we've been going over to Southeast Asia for the past two years. We studied abroad there our junior year of college and it is very cheap over there compared to America. We were used to spending $30 a day. Yes, $30 a day for everything. Stay, food, entertainment, drinks, adventures. America is going to be a little different for this road trip. We're going to keep track of all our expenses in an app on my phone. By the end of it you'll see exactly how much this road trip cost well i think we bought too much because we don't have a ton of room but this whole bag is just like cans of beans and corn which we eat a lot some pasta like perishables this yeti will be our fridge and we're gonna get a bag of ice at the next gas station we stop at we're going to our job hungover like anna said it's not too fun but hey we gotta do it the last thing we have to do is get ice we just got $100 worth of food, so hopefully that lasts us like one week or two weeks. And he already wanted to go out to eat. I was like, are you kidding me? Guys, I know this probably isn't legal or safe or whatever. Can't care right now, because I'm too tired. Watching that 7 show right hard now, on you. in the back and here, it feels so good to lay down and just watch TV. <laughs> Please, driving. She's the worst partner in crime. I'm up here alone. She's back there under the covers, having a cup of tea. It's about the storm behind me. We're in Wisconsin currently. I'm gonna show you. I'm filling up the water bottles. This is how we're gonna have water for the next 
couple months. We're gonna fill these up and put them in the Yeti so they're cold. As you can see behind me, that is a massive storm rolling in. Of course, Anna made a stop so she can go to the bathroom. And Anna's eating her hummus and olives. Gosh, this is why we stopped. Both Anna and I are the like 25% Lebanese. We really love our Mediterranean stinky food like olives and hummus. If you don't like hummus, you. <laughs> we're still 11 and a half hours away from South Dakota, so we're definitely gonna stop somewhere and find a free campsite tonight. Stopped at a gas station right now, getting gas. Very cheap gas, by the way, only 209. That's the best friend when you're road tripping around the US, cheap gas. We stepped over and saw this beautiful, unique Great Dane, and uh, the owner's letting us take a video of it. What's your name? Shasta Lou. He has two different colored eyes, right? One's like an ice blue and the other one's brown. Oh my, look at the paws, they're so big. Is she a big baby? Oh yeah. Yeah. Fun fact, my brother Jake Ryan played for the Green Bay Packers. That's why we've been to Wisconsin before. We've gone to many games and it's so much fun. We love Wisconsin. This beer is out of this world. If you're ever passing through Wisconsin, get Spotted Cow. I also don't like beer, so the fact that I like it says something. We're gonna be drinking some of this at whatever free campsite we find tonight on the road. You also know you're in Wisconsin when there's a bunch of cheese at the gas station. We're gonna get Dill garlic cheese curds, because Ian says that you have to get cheese curds when you're in Wisconsin. The reason we stopped over was not only to get the spotted cow and some cheese curds, but we had to stop over and do some work. So we're gonna go park and make our TikToks for today. Go follow us on TikTok, we make some really cool stuff. It's basically small vlogs. This is where we're working back here. Fan on right now, on full bore, and then we crack the windows just to get more air in. driving on the freeway and we look over and we see this beautiful body of water and we're like what could that be and it goes on for a while and I look it up on Google Maps and it's the Mississippi River for those of you that don't know the Mississippi River goes through continental North America all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico and it's 2300 miles it's crazy beautiful I just feel like the more west we go the prettier it's getting earlier you saw her asleep and watching 70s show in the back but she's really doing it now we found a little secluded area on the side of the highway that we're stopping at to eat. It's so crazy how our life changes so fast, so many times. Like now we're just outside cooking and living in a van. This is the life of Ian and Anna and we hope you enjoy it. So here's our little table and chair set up. We got the speaker out. Here's our camper stove. It's really blue and we love it. We ended up doing a butane stove, really easy to do. So you take off that, you put the butane in like this. It latches on, boom, you lock it. And then, and it's on. Nice. And you can go up or lower. But before we start getting cooking, we're gonna enjoy a nice ice cold spotted cow and some cheese curds. Anna eating the cheese curds from Wisconsin for the first time, man. Mm. What do you guys think? Mm. They're so good. Fun fact, we actually don't eat a ton of meat. <laughs> As she scoops a bunch of sausages in the pan. Tonight, it was just easier to make this. Yeah, we do it kind of like every other day or meat every couple just days. Meat doesn't always sit well with me. Neither does cheese, but we're eating both tonight. Yeah, I guess this is what traveling is, I forgot. Mm -hmm. There is nothing better than drinking this spotted cow with my in beautiful Minnesota. Anna in Minnesota, cooking sausages and eating cheese curds. Rachel, thank you for the van warming gift. It's this toadfish holder for uh, beer, and I feel like we're gonna be drinking a lot of that this road trip, so it's perfect. It says the other side, road trip edition. This is home. Woo -woo. I wish you guys could smell this through the camera. Sauerkraut sausage, little pepper in there. We're gonna put a little yellow mustard on the side there, cause sausage with mustard, very underrated, and one of the healthiest condiments in the world believe it or not. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but we got a good meal here. I'm about to try it myself. I'm gonna put you guys right in front of us. First meal, van life. It's a big moment for us. Mm -hmm. it took about 10 minutes in total. It's good, babe. Mm -hmm. Taking in this beautiful sunset. We are about two hours away from our free campsite we're staying at. Good morning from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. We drove about eight and a half hours from Chicago yesterday and got to our free campsite here on the border of South Dakota. Still have four and a half hours to get to the Badlands. Anna's making us a cup of coffee. 
yes, we can make coffee off the grid, especially with one of our sponsors down here that I'll be talking about later. For the most part, anything you see in the video that we talk about, you can find in the link in the description below. Also, at some point during our journey, I will have a blog up on our website, a whole van life section, where we'll have every single item link. I know this helped us when we were looking at people's blogs, so we wanna, you know, pay it forward. Anna and I were just talking over coffee and just how lucky we are to be able to do this in America. Usually when we're over in Southeast Asia or other countries, we have to worry about like a visa and we have to leave after 30 days. So that can get annoying, but being an American, it's nice to travel our own country. There's a bunch of free campsites along the way. We're at a country store right now. It's called Buffalo Ridge and the owners just allow anyone to sleep in their parking lot. So that's very nice of them. Woo! South Dakota, here we come. Is using the Campendium app to find Nomad View Dispersed Camping. Yes, it's zero dollars, 94 reviews. I'm all about reviews. Five stars. And it has an insane view. It has all these pictures. So we're going to head there. Also, we decided we're going to do van talk. If you don't really love lifting heavy things, get yourself a man on this trip. Okay, we're rolling up to our campsite. Anna's going to make sure that I do not fall off this cliff behind us. I would have to say that this campsite is a plus. This is basically our first big night of camping at one of our main attractions, which is Badlands. We're excited to adventure tomorrow. It's like the most perfect breeze right now. It's not hot at all. The sun's going down, but we still got some time on it. So we're gonna start cooking over here. You saw yesterday's video. We cooked up some sausage and sauerkraut, but Anna's gonna go a little harder tonight. Anna just made an Ian Ryan special. What's in it, Ann? Mm. Rice with cumin, chili powder, garlic powder. Look that up first because we only have one pan. Put that aside. Then you just saute some onions, broccoli, beans, banana peppers. Mix it all together. Put a glob of hummus on top, sriracha and honey, and lemon. The reason it is called an Ian special is because in college, you know, lazy college kid, I used to just put everything together. It turned out to be really good when you mix everything together, especially with the hummus, lemon, sriracha, on top of all those veggies and rice. Can't go wrong, perfect meal for camping. And we got this view. This is a free campsite. We just finished dinner and cleaned up a little bit. Now we're walking through this brush, this prairie brush. Anna and I are big believers in, we love the sun when it actually sets. It makes everything all pink and orange and beautiful. But you're watching it go over the hedge right there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Anna and I are gonna sign off. We're gonna have a good day in South Dakota Badlands National Park tomorrow. Be ready. We got a full day of adventures coming your way. Woot, woot, yip, yip, riba, 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 woo, riba. Say, say.